Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder that my Patreon is live. Patreon.com slash Tristate EDC. It is in the description. The Tristash t-shirts are now available over on Teespring. The link is also in the description. Take a look if you want to wear a knife-covered mustache on your body. Enjoy the show. I have seen, touched, fondled with, experienced, fallen in love with, and fallen out of love with a lot of knives since I started this channel. And if you've been watching since the beginning, if a knife ends up getting a review, it's because I like it. At least I like it enough to spend six to eight hours of my life writing, recording, and editing a video about it. But every once in a good long while, something truly amazing arrives at my door. Something spectacular. Something, dare I say, perfect. And this is that something. This is the Jason Grant Gripper prototype made by the insanely talented Indonesian savant that is SG Knives. This beautiful frag pattern full titanium frame lock was designed by Jason Grant aka Brass Brigade. You may know him here on YouTube and on Instagram, a man who up until this very moment had never designed a knife. In fact, for the past 30 years or so, he spent his days and probably some of his nights as a tattoo artist. So at this point, you might be asking how he made the jump from tattooing to ripping our faces off with this, this stunning design completely out of nowhere. Well, it's kind of a funny story. The story goes, Jason and his family were on vacation in Hawaii, semi-recently. And one day, while knocking back my ties and taking in Hawaii's natural beauty, it hit him. Frantically, he grabbed a pen and the nearest napkin and began scribbling down the profile and the shape and the details. And upon his return home, he liked his slapped together napkin drawing so much that he decided to have it made for real. And he sent the drawing along with some dimensions to SG Knives. Now, this part really blows my mind. One month later, this actual knife arrived. And if Jason's reaction to seeing this for the first time was anything like mine, he must have known that he had made the right decision. Now this is the prototype, so before I get into it, you know, breaking it down and going over the usual details, just keep keep in mind that this is pretty much a handmade custom. And it's the only one that exists, as far as I'm aware, and changes are being made, slash have been made, for the final design that, good news, will become the eventual production model. Looks-wise, I just, I really can't express how much this thing speaks to me. The profile closed up is clean and stylish, yet aggressive and kind of angry looking. The wonderful frag pattern for extra grip in the hand and, you know, extra aesthetic pleasure for the eyeballs. That classy copper pivot collar that helps to class up the joint ever so slightly. The stunning stonewash finish on the titanium handles. It is all just one serotonin rush after another. Everywhere I look, every angle, it looks excellent. When you go to open this thing up, you will all immediately go, ah. Now I see why he likes it so much. That's right, tucked away inside that beautifully done exterior shell is this absolutely gorgeous satin finish Warren Cliff style blade. And oh sweet Maria, mamacita. The physical and or borderline sexual attraction is overpowering in ways that I cannot even describe. This prototype is smaller than the final production model will be, so keep that in mind. This one is rocking a 3-inch blade, whereas the production model will have a 3.5-inch blade. But stats and specs and dimensions do not a perfect knife make, oh no. It has to, at least for me, elicit an emotional reaction, more so than anything else. And this one, <laughs> looks-wise, absolutely emotionally wrecks me in the best way possible, mainly due to the fact that I have to send it out as soon as this review is done, and that is going to be one of the hardest things I have ever had to do. But back to the looks, on the blade spine we've got this heavy duty jimping that runs out the entire length of the blade, and it's echoed by the jimping along that full size, full length backspacer that almost makes this thing kind of look like an integral. The pocket clip on this first ever prototype is a little loosey-goosey, wibbly-wobbly, but it carries nice and deep and holds on well enough for my needs. And according to Jason, the clip will be dialed in on the final production models. I could literally make this a 12-minute review and only ever talk about the looks, but we'd better move it along if I want to keep this under half an hour. 
the ergos on the gripper here, well, I mean, they're excellent. I think the name kind of says it all. The gripper. There is so much grippy texturing all over this thing that even if you were a used motor oil processor, you will never slip off of this knife. The frag pattern holds on to every crack and crevice of the palm and the fingers. The jimping on the backspacer and the blade spine are soft and gentle, yet offer up all of the traction you could ever need for almost any cutting task. We do also have a really nice usable finger choil so we can choke up behind the edge for some added control. And as far as comfort goes, even with all of the crazy intense looking frag pattern and texturing and jimping, it's as snugly and gentle in the hand as a roll of Charmin Ultra. Great ergos. And before I have a crisis, let's talk about the action. The action on this piece is, <laughs> well, simply put, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Now, when Jason decided he was going to take this design all the way into production, he reached out to one of my personal favorite new designers, John of EMP EDC, and John was more than supportive of this project from the beginning. So don't give me any of that, oh no, oh boy, he stole that from EMP EDC, oh, he copied the nimble. Listen, John himself greenlit this knife and supports it all the way. <clears throat> that being said, oh sweet Jesus, this knife is right up there with the nimble when it comes to fidget factor. First off, we have the obvious deployment holes slash slots for your thumb flicks and reverse flicks, and they are nice and snappy. Now, the detent isn't perfectly dialed yet, because again, this is the first ever handmade prototype, but even so, it feels insanely good. Nice and snappy. Then we have the traditional flipper tab at the back. Well, it's kind of traditional. The shape and size and location looks kind of outwardly awkward and strange, but that being said, after a, a very short learning curve, it is really easy to flip that blade out. You know, once you know the right place to put your finger and the right method of flipping. And the flipper tab is also getting some updating for the final production models. And then on top of all of that, as if that wasn't enough, this thing is built uh, to be a front flipper as well, hence all of the jumping on the blade spine. And just like flipping in the slot deployment, it is a breeze to actuate using the front flipper tap. All four methods are good and snappy and it all feels insanely solid. All the way throughout the opening and the closing, the bearings are stupidly smooth and completely gritless and dead silent, which is great because best of all, the noises this thing makes are, uh, are on a level that I, I have never experienced in my entire life. I don't, I, I, I didn't know such sweet sounds could come from a knife, could come from anything. Let's just, I'll shut up, we'll take a listen to this sweet symphony. I mean, I was truly and utterly blown away when I first opened and closed this knife. Go back and watch my unboxing. I actually talk through that one. First time I've ever done that. And you can watch me have an actual crisis live on camera. The acoustic bliss that emanates out of the gripper here is 100% reason enough for me to buy one or two or 10. Incredible action, top to bottom, mind-blowing acoustics start to finish. And finally, that beautifully done hollow ground Warncliffe slicer, what a blade it is, an undeniable textbook example of a true Warncliffe, perfectly straight cutting edge, a really nice looking deep hollow grind, and all of it ground out of a nice, thick and sturdy piece of blade stock. Now, yes, as is the case with all warnings, the tip is a bit on the dainty side, but I don't care because it's beautiful and it is 100% a performance cutting machine. I haven't been able to put the blade and edge through all of my usual testing because this is kind of the only gripper in existence at the moment, but paper and cardboard stand nearly a single chance in heaven or hell against this implement of absolute destruction. I love using it almost as much as I love looking at it, and for me, I think you'll agree that is some insanely high praise. So big surprises coming up. Where does all of this leave me with the absolutely mind-blowingly excellent Jason Grant Gripper by SG Knives? Well, prototype or not, this thing is incredible. It is technically a custom knife, and I'm assuming it is the most valuable knife I have ever had on the channel, but the full-blown production model is coming, and from what I've heard from Jason, Best Tech will be the OEM manufacturing those production models. You know, the same folks that do Veros, yeah. And I love Best Tech, and I think this is an excellent choice, as long as they 
Uh, as long as they can duplicate the sounds this one makes. And I do believe he will be selling customs made by SG Knives, so if Best Tech can't pull off the sounds, I'll be buying a custom. Pricing wise, I believe Jason is aiming for that 350 to 375 ish target for the larger size production model, and hell yes, I see a ton of value there, especially for this being his first ever design. Good on Jason for pricing these beautiful, beautiful pieces to sell. Overall, the looks are phenomenal. The styling, the action, the sound, the blade, the cutting performance, for me, it all adds up to a Grand Slam home run hole in one. And I just have to keep reminding myself that this is his first ever design. He's never done this before. He's never designed a knife before. What the fuck? Jason, my friend, you've absolutely blown any and all expectations I had out of the water, and I cannot wait to get my grubby little sausage mitts on the production model. I will be first in line to buy one. Whew. I'm gonna have a stroke. So until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.